Hey guys, Smitty here at Mains and Cross. Thank you for checking us out here on our, on our IG TV platform or YouTube. Guys, if you have not checked us out on Instagram, please do so, Mains and Crosses. But we have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, Selenko racket here. It's a prototype. Um, obviously, it's in white right now. However, they're probably going through the paint scheme and all that stuff. But this is the same racket you see Noah, uh, Noah Rubin play with. I think he has some lead, a lot of lead on this little throat area. Um, today we're going to show you a little bit of what this looks like. Great details. Um, obviously right now it's just the regular paint. However, I do like the, the, the grommet area. This is 98 square inch, you know, and 16 by 19. Good details on that. However, look at the top. It has some shiny gloss, um, grommet that's actually looking pretty dope. You know, it's just small details that makes things look very good. Um, these grommet holes kind of remind me of those Selenko ones with those flares. Um, for the tie-offs and stuff like that, which I think it's great. Here comes the throat. It's a very thin beam, very thin um, throat area. Um, reminds me of a, um, a Prestige. Uh, feels great off the back. I don't know if they customized this already or if this is one of their... They've had more multiple or different prototypes, but this one feels really good. And the reason that when I grabbed it, I kind of felt it already. Like, hey, this feels very similar to something else I have, which is this. Guys, this is the head pro stock. Uh, and um, this is actually from um, a pro on the tour. And um, it's already has lead work in here and i don't think this one has any lead work this one's off the bat but it felt very similar in in weight and, and feel but even look at the look at even the grommet area which i mean it just everything it reminds me of it but look if i put it back to back here both are 98 square inch head but like i said i think this one okay like the white one has a little bit more thicker beam i can definitely attest to that but look from the side view i mean Patterns are almost, well, not alike, but you could tell it's a little different. But um, but when I, when, like I said, when I picked it up, like I said, this is customized by uh, the head custom shop. Uh, I know it definitely has some lead work all over the hoop and, of course, some silicone in here. But this one is bare bone. So let's uh, get it to the RDC machine and um, see what's going on. So I'm going to clear this out because I want, I want to show you guys that this is super legit okay so it's cleared everything's zeroed out let's get the weight first right i'm gonna check the weight so this bun beeps and it gets me the weight uh 307 let's lock that on in next thing i want to check out is the flex everybody's always interested about the flex there ba -da -ba -ba -ba. all right put it in the middle i lock it sorry for the shaky video but i'm doing this like so everybody can see so this goes down, so this clamps down to hold this firm at that center point. This button, if you guys haven't seen this done before, see that flex, and it'll pop here. 67 is the game, all right? Um, I did the balance already earlier. It was around 31.75, so I can attest to that around there. So that's 37 and a half. A little bit more. Yeah, see that? Around 31.7. All right. And uh, lastly, what everybody always wants to check on out is the swing weight. And um, press this button right here. It's going to pop up right there. All right, 29.3. I did this a couple times already, and that's kind of what the average I've been getting. So uh, I'm gonna. So this is the specs for this racket, all right? It's a, at a 307, 67 on the RA, which is not bad at all. Uh, very common at that range. And then the swing weight, remember, this is not even customized yet. It's showing up around 293 unstrung. So right off the bat, this is not a bad gig. So compared to this, remember, this one is been modified it has silicone it has lead work all over the hoop so uh, remember these are the specs right here what's going to happen is i'm going to put this on um the scale it's going to blink and it's going to show the number however i'm not going to save it so without further ado 
same thing. Let's get to this, this uh, weight first. 314, right? 314 is on this one. The other one's what? 308, not bad. All right. So it's a couple. All right. So the next one, I want to check out the flex on this rack. Remember, this is a pro stock. TGT uh, 293. And like I said, this is. All right, see? Now I want to press this. Check out the flex. Get that bend on. The Selenko is 67. This one's 66. This is a little softer. Not bad. Not bad. Like I said, had they expected to do amazing thing. They've been doing pro stocks for quite a while, and this is uh, this is their this is their baby. So I'm not surprised that being well. I did check out the balance point on this. This is around 31.5. So um, so not that much difference. Like I said, however, this is customized for a player. Remember the um, the swing um, the swing weight of that is 293 this one has been customized don't forget this one has been customized for a pro 295 i did this a couple times already i know this record pretty darn well at 295 that's that's very close to 290 what 294 on the on the other one 294 293 that's only like two points off so off the back this has been customized by head pro shop 293, 295, that's only two points. So and I'm assuming that's from the lead work here, and that's probably where the weight comes from too. However, for a racket weighing in at 308, balance is literally almost all the same, you know? And to the T, even almost very close on the swing weight. So it's, it's an RA, um, 67, 66. I mean, which one's a better racket? I mean, this one is it's a it's a pro stock racket made for i mean obviously that's kind of prestige by itself no pun intended however this one uh Selenko off off the shelf ready for the pros like if i just gave this to a pro and like say hey I do a little modification here and there maybe add a leather grip weigh it up a little bit more they could actually use this that's why probably noah rubin already has those lead on the the throat area that's it and he could be able to play with this is 16 by 19 both are 16 by 19 what do you guys think? Leave a comment on the um, below and just tell me, hey, what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for this? Because, like I said, this specs is very close to this pro stock right here. All right, peace out.